Welcome back, everybody. We're just chilling with Bayek on top of the temple. We're at the foot of the temple. We got some freaking cool figures looking, including a dude without a head, which is kind of crazy. And there's Senu, our favorite freaking flyer. We uh, we got some stuff going on. We fast traveled over here. We were going to go grab another side quest, which was this Rebel Alliance quest. There's also the Rites of Anubis. Um, obviously, we are still trying to head for the Crocodile, but they recommend level 28, and we are almost 26. Um, so I figured it would be good to grab a bit more XP before we push for that and see where that eventual quest and kill takes us in the meantime. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. We're cruising right through the game, making really good progress. I feel it's a beefy, big Assassin's Creed, and like I mentioned before, I'm playing it all in a row uh, on one week. And it is a crazy, exhausting, and absolutely epic, awesome time. So we're going to continue. We're going to make our way towards the, uh, the pyramids and the mountains, this Rebel Alliance mission. See what Admiral Akbar has cooking for us. And then also pick up maybe that uh, Anubis quest as well. We'll have to see um, what we want to do, how much XP we get, how long they take, and what we need. Um, leaving kind of this region for now. We'll be back, obviously. The crocodile is evil. He's already indirectly assaulted a family and eliminated their child and, and just he's not a good guy so i am absolutely eager to eliminate him as we reach this new region and get a teensy bit of xp not enough to carry us uh, across that 26 threshold but we're getting there there's some horses up in the canyon looking kind of cool um but this mission marker the rebel alliance is what we want to see. I'm guessing this is going to be fighting against bandits, a combat-focused mission, which could be cool. Um, it's a little bit lower than our level, which is nice, so it might actually be a, an easy one. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Oh. Hey, get ready to move out. My blade with their blood. will be on the lookout. We have been successful in finding the king's enemy. We go now. Can't wait to see the king's face when we bring this villain. In. Every last one of these dogs. Hey, um, hello. Hey, ow. What the heck? I thought I just helped the Greeks and now these guys are trying to kill me. That's what you get in this freaking world. Charge and knock them down. Alright. Luckily, these guys are a little bit lower level, so they kind of have a, it's an easier chance to kill. Now, it's not the best chance to kill, but I'm actually going to get aboard a horse as I take my, uh, nurse my wounds and we're going to try to. There we go. Look at that. That's what we want to do. I know this is awkward, but there we go. Sorry for the camera chaos. If it made you feel a little woozy, I do apologize. But we're going to really uh, wreck these dudes as quickly as humanly possible. There we go. All right. Yo. Did we miss him? We did. Dang it. Oh, you're a rebel. Okay. You're on my side. Ah, I tried to use it against the rebel. That's why it didn't work. I needed to use it against this guy. I guess if we target him... It'll be easier next time. All right, I trust that they can take him out. There we go. Now there's still one dude running, and then the uh, the carriage is cruising. Yes, that's nice. Unfortunately, you can't charge with the spear. It'd be cool if you could charge from horseback. Come on. Yeah, he's done. All right, awesome. The cart and buggy is the only one we have left, and uh, they've abandoned it, basically. There we go. Nice insta-kill. Alright. Finish these fools. That's a bandit. There we go. Yeah, I got you. One sec. I'll make this Rebel Alliance in a minute. Alright, cool. Good deal. There we go. Right through the throat, and away we go. Talk to me. Of course, I have to carry. Him. Everybody wants to be carried in this game. Let's not get jumped. There's nothing here. You hear something? You are by Akasiwa, aren't you? I've heard stories of the Medjai who crossed the desert. I am Theodorus, one of many who rebel against the Falakitai. Is that what landed you in this cage? Yes, a failed attack. I am hunting Doratos, 
a ruthless general of Ptolemy with a hatred for Egyptians, a killer of mothers and fathers and children. I won't rest until his body is food for the worms. Would you lend your sword? Gladly. Your plight is true. Good joy. We will regroup with my men in Bacchus. Come along. All right. How does a Greek find himself fighting an Egyptian cause? Cool, cool, cool. Track this. Escort Theodorus the rebel to Bacchus. Yes. My mother, Greek. Long ago. A day came when I discharged every ounce of Greek blood from my body and pledged to rid Egypt of men like Deratos. Hmm. And we nearly did. We found his camp, but they had greater numbers. We were forced to disband. I was captured by a scouting convoy and beaten into giving up our retreat point. But you instead led them into a trap. Clever. <laughs> what a clever old boy. Whoa. Whoa. I knew my brothers would rescue me, but I did not know the Medjai Pusiwa would be among them too. Of course. Listen up, we're just trying to escort this dude. Can't you let me be? This spear is really good for horse combat as well. Alright, alright, alright. I'm protecting you from... From who? Oh, from this guy. Get him. Nice. <laughs> this is the simplest combat ever. They never, never actually hurt us. And we just circle the wagons and take them out. Oh, there's more of them. Good deal. Okay, where to? You are rather celebrated amongst the group. We spent years tracking him, only to learn you made waste of him single-handedly. <laughs> you would not call us your ally, but our goals seem to be aligned from time to time, don't they? You are not incorrect. We will take shelter here and wait for the right moment to strike. Yeah. I will get briefed. Hey, weapons ready. All right, move. All right, Theodorus, tell me more. What's wrong with you? They look very hurt. Bad tummy aches here. Work together. Oh God, more? Really? I knew it was gonna be a combat heavy mission. We were right. Yes. Bash and crash, and let's uh, switch the swords. In a second here. That's an absolutely vicious attack. Ow. There we go. Ooh, beautiful. Theodorus has to be so impressed by that. That's crazy cool combat. What now? I love how when we're out of combat, they walk so slow. Like, come on, dudes. Whoever thinks they can mess with us is in for a good awakening. You should walk quick, even when you're not in combat, so you can avoid combat. Kind of the idea here. Where are you going? Now you're moving quick. There we go, Theodorus. We will take shelter here and wait for the right moment to strike. All right, if you say so. I will get briefed. Go get briefed. Dogs. They've sent out scouting groups. Daratos is gone. Neck. He continues to elude me. What should we do? Let's be smart. We have an opportunity to claim two victories with one swift strike. We need to wait for Deratos to return to camp. I've learned his personal scribe has stayed behind in Karanis. We'll be targeted if we so much as take a piece nearby. You are unknown to them. Bring the scribe to us. He'll tell us what we need to know. How do I find him? At night, he'll rest within the courtyard. During the day, you can find him working around the temple or at the terrace overlooking the lake. He dresses elegantly. And due to our failed attack, now has guards in tow. He'll be hard to miss. All right. The Rato scribe is accompanied by two bodyguards. At night, he rests by the courtyard outside the Serapion. During the day, he works the Serapion. All right, so 
basically we have to go find the scribe, ring him to Theodorus on our camel's back, and uh, assist this Greek rebel, Theodorus, in accomplishing his awesome rebellious tasks. Forming our alliance, and we'll head back to the major palace here. Or the major structure, maybe it's not Thailand Palace, whatever it is. Find this dude. It's nighttime, so he rests by the courtyard outside. Whoa. He's got two bodyguards who obviously we're going to take down, but it's a little bit easier since they are like level 24. Level 23 even sometimes. Watch out, kitty cat. Don't want to trample ya. Okay, so we're looking for the courtyard outside. A lot of guards. There he is. That looks like more than uh, two bodyguards, if you ask me, but we'll see. <gasps> hmm. Back in Karanas here. I guess it is two bodyguards. There's other soldiers nearby. But it's only two that are really in close proximity. We are not to leave your sight. He's overreacting. I am safe here. Won't take Should get a chain assassination here. Himself. Drunk. Yes. Dead to the world. Beautiful. <laughs> it won't be long before he comes to. I need to bring him back to Theodorus. I like how he's just talking to them, but now he's like unconscious and asleep. All right. So we got to carry him. We can put him on the back of our camel. Right over here. And then ride him up to Theodorus, which will be gorly, gl gl gorgeous, glorious. And no, 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 I want to, no, not, not, don't come to, come back here, let's go. Camel, what are you doing? Alright, there we go. The camel's just trying to get in a nice spot. I think he also wanted a piece of this melon this time. You can have as much melon as you want as soon as we're back, I promise, camel boy. And I won't accidentally throw a freaking knife in your face and take you out like I did to your brother way back when. I'm still so sorry about that. It was such a sucky turn of events. Okay, so we're going to take Dorato's scribe back to the Greeks. Let's see what they got to say. Yeah, who needs fences? Nah, you're fine. It's all good. Alright. Let's get him back up to camp. And see what they want to do with this punk. Well, it's hard to know, like, how much was he actually responsible versus just following orders, you know? No, no, no. <laughs> yes. There. Good deal. That is him. Well done. We will find out what he knows. In the meantime, we must prepare our attack. Some of our brothers are stationed just west of Soknopayo. Meet with them and wait for my arrival. We will put an end to that Nekatir debt. Ooh. A scribe who knows his way around Karanis. Eratos, where is he? That I'm level 26. Is nothing to me. Don't think us fools. Please, stop. Then talk. We'll break your fingers. No. Then your No, wrists. don't. Where is Deratos? Talk! Alright, cool. Now at 26, I feel like we can... They still want us to be... I feel like we can... I don't know, I kind of want to just go after it. It's still recommending that we don't. Um, we could go grab the rights of Anubis. But we're at this precarious position where we're like, we need like 9,000 XP to even level up. 9,000. Reach the Crocodilopolis Arena. I'm going to save my ability points. I don't know, I feel like we can 
I kind of want to just go for it. We'll see what happens. If it's too tough, it's too tough. But let's kind of just gun for it. We gotta reach his, uh, this arena. So let's fast travel there and see if we can make it happen. camel up and carry ourselves towards this Crocodilopolis arena. I'm guessing we're going to do like gladiator battles or some boss battle of sorts uh, in this arena and duke it out and prove our worth and probably if we win then we'll get an audience of the crocodile and that's how we're going to come upon the kill. So I'm guessing this one is going to be, I don't know if combat heavy is the right word, but focused on, you know, taking this guy out. So we really, I need to go... We need to get to this bridge. Oh no, it's across the way. The crocodile's jaws, okay. So, let's actually make a little marker here and see if we get to the coast. So we're actually gonna have to um, swim across or boat across, I guess, rather. Okay, Whoa. this is dumb. We've backed ourselves into a corridor. Come on, camel boy. Okay, not gonna work. I don't like you as much as your brother, camel. <laughs> I know that's nasty to say, but it's how I feel. Where the heck are we even? Okay, basically I just need to climb over this mountain. I think this is a bandit camp over here, so I don't really want to get too close and run into that. But I'm gonna work my best uh, just to get up and around quickly and reach the shore. That's where we want to be. 700 meters across the riverway. Yeah, we're going to definitely find a... Uh, there's a papyrus puzzle in this market, but I ain't got time for that right now. Cool, cool. Doing good work. Nice, nice freaking athletic roll. We didn't even take damage that time. Alright, so there's the coast. There's got to be a ship that we can... Sneak our way on to. Right. There's one. Always a boat waiting for us. And the one with the sail is obviously going to go faster than the one without. So we'll mount up right here. And cross. The big old river. The big old body of water. And reach this arena. Not really sure exactly what's going to happen there. But we'll find out. Like I said, I'm predicting a gladiator-style battle, and then we have to beat all the waves of the rounds in order to win favor with the crocodile himself. So now we're in Fayum Oasis, which is like a new city. You think about it, there's so many cities that we've seen. Pretty much like everywhere, every region has multiple cities, and some obviously are very small, but some are huge. They're just so plentiful. Alright. What is that? Oh. Crocodilopolis. Kind of a crazy name for a place, but it obviously fits this dude in his uh, domain so, so well. Um. Can we. Oh. This must be the back way. <laughs> Let's see if there's a front entrance. Because that door is closed and we cannot climb it. There's gotta be a grand entryway, something that looks really majestic and exciting, like a sports arena. Pretty sizable town here, some decent buildings. Almost looks like a freaking Disney World Resort. Guards, a plenty, guards, galore. The gladiatorial arena. So the crocodile recruits from this place for his personal army. I need to find out more about it. The Ovikos. The living embodiment of war. His fists are deadlier than any weapon. Okay. Deadly fist man? Veridovix. The loyal servant of death. His scythe will ever reap the unworthy. Yikes. 
Hey, Neb. What can you tell me about the men who fight here? Men? These are not men, they're gods. You've never seen such savage warriors. They could break you in half with one strike. Ah. Do any of them have red hair? Gods among gods, have you never heard of the brothers from Gaul? Can't you feel their eyes on you? Their statues are beside me. All right. More, more scrolls, more statues. Sir, Ooh, this guy. We need more fighters. They're... Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner. Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough knuckle no name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, camel boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. A med what? <laughs> I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part like a vicious mangy dog. Wow. Nice. Nah, nah. I have already got an Egyptian. A huntress from Siwa who's worth three of you. She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets, and the gladiator can bring you in. So, the Gallic brothers are involved in Shadia's murder. But why are they doing the crocodile's bidding? I need to get inside and learn more. The arena owner mentioned a C1 gladiator to the east at an obelisk. I wonder if I know her. Yeah, it's Aya. Siwa is a small place. I should go and see. Sure sounds like Aya. So let's go to the obelisk the over way. here. It sure doesn't it sound like like a huntress. I don't know. Maybe it is someone else from Sia. Maybe we have a sister or someone that we're about to meet. But it sure sounds like Aya. Let's use this guy's boat for a little leverage. And let's uh, get there quickly. Again, putting some some points up in our bar. This will be good. If we can get to another mission without actually having to fight anyone and maybe creep closer to 27, that'll be great. But I think at 26, with some of the weaponry we have and some of the upgrades we have, we should be okay. feel like we'll be in, in decent shape. I feel confident in our ability. We, we had a period where we were getting desynced very frequently, but it hasn't happened in a while, or at least not anywhere near as much. All right, so there's the obelisk. There is our Huntress praying. We'll have to go see who this is. Got some dance parties going on. We ain't got time for none of that jazz, though. Is it Aya or is it someone else? There's the C1. It's definitely not Aya. Okay. Wait. That looks or, like. No, it's not Aya. 